I need immediate close range artillery support on sector uh, Delta, Niner, Seven, Cheeseburger, Banana Hammock, Artichoke Dip. Right now. Good morning, Vietnam. We're being. Well, good morning, Vietnam. Guys, how are you doing? How is the winter break? Do you love it? Oh my god, look at this map. Okay, so this map is called like. It's it's all about Vietnam. It's about the Viet Cong overrunning a Ford operating base. Check this baby out. We got artillery positions. We got pillboxes. All these things are in a really, really good spot overlooking the terrain, right? Check out this little pillbox. Reminds me of D-Day. I wasn't there, but I played enough video games and sometimes I definitely know I wasn't there and I respect a lot of the men who went out there. Cause can you imagine that rushing pillboxes? Anyway, but that's not why we're here. Look at this. Oh, I thought that was like a little bunker underneath. But yeah, so this looks like a, an uh, uh, artillery base out in the mountains where, you know, the Americans would use that to basically shell you know, the Vietnamese positions and stuff like that, or like whenever people are like, I NEED ARTILLERY SUPPORT DANGER CLOSE! That kind of stuff would be handled here. Now, in this scenario, in this here scenario, boys, what's happening is the Viet Cong, check out these models, look at this, oh man, that's an M15 with a little, with a little foregrip. Ah, oh, I love the M15. M15 might be one of my, or M15, M14, I think it's M14, right? Yeah, M14 is like, my favorite one. Well, you can't even say what it is. Oh, that's right. Get it? You sneaky VC. I got I got killed by a friend earlier. But yeah, so this is a little CQB. Now, I've got another map where we're going to get to do a lot of airborne operations. And it's going to be dope. I'm really excited for that one because it's... it's You open it up and you get to see a lot of the really, really cool aircraft that were used during the Vietnam era. We got Cobras. We got Hueys. We got Huey gunships. The Vietnam air is really, really fascinating. So what we're going to be doing is first, the situation is as such. We're here in this artillery base. We get overrun. Later, we're going to take command of an airborne operation. So let's check out this map. Let's get into some of the weapons, some of the battle, and, and see some of the other weapons, right? So obviously, I've got a carbine pretty much special forces style right here. Listen to this puppy. And then how many rounds in the mag? We got 20 rounds, which is pretty typical. We got a 1911. Standard sidearm for the American fighting forces. And this puppy, this is called medicine. You need some penicillins. Didn't Elvis participate? How are we at negative two? Elvis was in Vietnam, right? And then we got this puppy. If you've seen the Green Army Men videos recently that are Vietnam era themed, Rising Storm 2, which was a lot of fun, which is kind of why I was feeling Vietnamish today, is this is the thumper. Ready? And that's why, because it goes thump. I mean, the nickname's called the thumper. So let's see how the thumper does done the thumping. We need to get this puppy thumping against the Viet Cong. So right now, here we go. Time to get thumped, Billy Bob. Well, we missed. All right, so it's a little more direct. If you think about this thing versus an RPG, it's almost laughable. I, I feel like the RPG is a much better weapon system. Yeah, Crockett Wreck. Have you guys seen that there's like the new Crocodile King K rule for Smash Bros? Oh, now this is the spot to do it. Now, my only one criticism of this map so far is that it feels really dark, and I wish that the Viet Cong were coming in from the trees and overrunning and like attempting to overrun, you know, this artillery base or this forward operating base, and maybe what would be like the Tet Offensive or something like that. When I mean, if you really think about the Vietnam War, it was, it was a, uh, I think it was like a military stalemate. Technically, the Americans' forces won a lot of a lot of the battles. But, oh my god. Oh, we still only got three of them. I need to- I need to work on maybe hitting next to them, be more indirect fire than opposed- There we go. Three. But I think you only get to see three names at the same time anyway. But, the Americans won a lot, a lot of battles, but you've got to give the Vietnamese a ton of credit because their style was like, Oh, okay. Cool. We're just never gonna give up. 
And, uh, you know, your media is going to be like, oh, no, this is going nowhere. Our men are dying. Let's stop fighting this. Why are we fighting this? And basically, Hurts. Like, rental cars? And basically, like, that was a, a major key thing. Major key. Was, uh, that the Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, like, the NVA, the North Vietnamese Army, and the Viet Cong, two kind of almost separate factions. Here, let's try out some of the other guns, right? Check out these guns. So, we've got the Vietnam... We got the Vietnamese pack, the North Vietnamese Army, the NVA, and then we've got NATO, the North American Taco Organization. Just kidding. Um, but look at these weapons, man. We got kind of this M16-looking carbine. We got the M66 Haug. Let's try that out. We got a non-patriot with a grenade launcher underneath it. I assume that's what GL means. And then we've got these M15s. Are they M15s or M14s? Either way, I'm, I'm trusting this guy knows. And then there's the Remington 400. Um, and I think... I thought the Remington 700. I wonder if these are just slightly changed for whatever reason. Because I thought it was an M60 and a Remington 700. And this is a... You know... I feel like there might be some funny business going on here. All right, let's try the hog. And then as our secondary, we've got a sawed-off shoddy. And with a thumper, we could go to... Let's go with a grenade. High-explosive grenade uh, rifle round. And actually, since we can do another one, I'm thinking... Can I do that? Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at my weapons. We'll spawn back here to kind of test them out. Right now, we're checking out the weapons before we get into the really, really good map. All right, so here's the M66. How? Oh my god, it sounds perfect. Oh, yeah. See? This weapon was expertly made, in my opinion. Sound effects are so key for weapons. The Viet Cong are coming, boys! Hit the duck! Oh my gosh. Oh, that guy looked like he had a shotgun of some sort. But yeah, I love the skins, like... You know, the little, uh, the hats that you would wear, like, while working in the rice paddies to cover your neck and your head. Basically, you know, the Vietnam Vietnamese equivalent of, like, what you call a Stetson hat, or I guess, for lack of better words, a, a cowboy hat. Alright, let's see what else we got. I got the... Got the sawed off. It sounds good. Now, oh, that animation, though! Look at this thing! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, no, I killed two of my friends instead. I didn't mean to, boys. Friendly fire. Friendly fire. We're calling in artillery danger close. Where are the enemy? They're not around here. No, no, stop. I've, I've got... I'm tasked with a great mission. Oh! Yes! The animation on this thing is so cool. So if you think about this here, look at this. Is this not one of the most random weapon systems? Like, I would have never thought of it. I swear, are they firing a regular bullet or a strain or like a dummy round? I don't know. Because in my head, it's like they fire a bullet, it gets caught, and then it's like, here, let's watch this in slow-mo. Well, it looks kind of funny. Does it do that? I don't think so. But look at the reload animation. You put this thing over the barrel of a rifle. And then let's see what kind of... Yeah, did they use a special round? I, I almost feel like they have to be putting a special round, but like... The Americans used these in World War II, right? So there's a lot of carryover from World War II, uh, Korean War and Vietnam. Oh my god, hold up. Hold the phone! Look at it going, baby! Woo! <laughs> Alright, I heard you guys wanted some hog. They want the hog. Alright, so what other weapons we got? The hog was pretty awesome. I'm gonna try out this thing, the automatic, because, like, I do love it. Now, for the, my second here, I'll choose the little, uh, compact version, kind of the Special Forces. It looks like it's got a sight, it's got, uh, a collapsible stock, and instead of a longer barrel, it's got kind of what you call a snub nose, so more for CQB, aka close quarters of battle type situations. Special Forces type stuff, right? Wow. That thing's hot! It's super hot! Alright, now we got this, the Spec Ops. Ooh, I like that, I like that. Man, this really makes me want to watch, like, a really good Vietna Vietnam War movie. Like, uh, what was my favorite one? 
It was the one with like Charlie. Was it Charlie Sheen or Charlie Sheen's other brother? Like, there's a lot of Charlie Sheen brothers, aren't there? Or maybe just one, two. Emilio Estevez. Was it Emilio Estevez? It was Emilio Estevez, which is like their names are different. Uh, Platoon. That's what it was. What's the best Vietnamese war movie? Oh man, We Were Soldiers was pretty good too with Mel Gibson. Aim small, miss small, even though that's from the Patriot. Every time I think of Mel Gibson, I'm gonna say aim small, miss small. Get that, VC! Take it! I want some fried rice. And I want your land. We gotta stop the spread of communisms. Oh, snap on a biscuits. Alright, what else do we got? Let's check out- We still haven't tried out the bloopity bloop small yet, but I wanted to make sure we covered most of these weapon systems. There's obviously the revving th you know, let's do it. Let's do it, I reckon. You gotta try it out. But I'm fairly certain that the main sniper rifle, maybe it was different back then, but... I don't think it's changed too much in terms of technology or development, but it was the Remington 700 sniper rifle. I mean, I know that's what we use today, I think, or one of the sniper rifles that's used today. Can I get up on this truck? We got any cans of spam in the back here? Because I'm hungry. I want some spam tacos. Oh my goodness. The Viet Cong, man, I'm doing my yoga poses on this Jeep. Alright, get out the mini thump and go THUMP! Oh, it didn't, it didn't hurt anybody. Nobody, nobody got taken out. If you can't hit it, you gotta quit it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the sniper went in there. Oh, no! Okay, okay. We're going to the new map. This is cool. It almost looks... Everyone's kind of all over the place. It looks like... So, blue is gonna be where the United States forces start. I'm thinking... I don't really want that. Ooh! I forgot they had this thing, man. This is... Alright, so it's not as cool as the RPG. We're also gonna be checking out... Here we go. I know, I know, ADD, right? Don't you love it? I love it! I love it! So this is by the same map maker as the last one. Look at this puppy, boys! Oh, yes! Is that miniguns on the side? I want that! All aboard! Oh my god, look at this! This Huey's so well done. It looks like we've got miniguns and a little cluster of, it looks like seven rockets on either side. Plus we've got the two M60 gunners on each side. Oh, this guy's on top of the helicopter! Billy, get off! Oh my god, he's gonna tip us. He's gonna tip us! Ugh. Oh, what's up now, Jimmy Bob boys? Jimmy crack corn and we don't care none because Goodness. Oh, yeah, and actually look in the lower left. You can see that I've got seven rockets So it'll probably when I fire the trigger I'll be able to fire Two I'll fire two rockets at the same time and look at the m60 gunner just going right now The only thing I would change about this map is the skybox I don't really like it just because it's super dark and I, I prefer like a nice blue You know cuz then you got better contrast of colors and stuff like that, but you know what? It's that's the only thing I think I'd fix right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You seeing what I'm seeing? Ladies and gentlemen, we got enemy activity going on over here. I can't tell. Hold on. Is this friendly? Is oh, snap. Everybody out. Oh, my gosh. Spooner just got me. Look at those guys. They got Dragunov sniper rifles down there. Okay, well, it looked like we had... Oh, I don't think those are real helicopters. I think they're part of the terrain. Let's check this out. Oh, you know what? That's nice. It's cool that they're part of the terrain. Can I get hit by the propeller? Oh, yeah, like that's cool and all. It like makes it look good, but like as far as like an active battlefield that you feel- Whoa! Viet Cong in the hills! Let's go prone. They got a sniper up there. Can you imagine? All right, let's creep up a little bit. We gotta dodge these tufts of grass so we can get better. Hey. 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 What the heck? The collision models are weak. All right. Oh, cotton! Let's see how that works out. So, they've got this nice high position up there. It looks like we were looking at this, this hilltop fort. Okay. That's pretty dope. I like it. Definitely makes the train feel- Oh, you spawn in the helicopter. That's- Alright, I see what's going on here. This is brilliantly done. Alright, and now... This thing has a less drop than the thumper does. 
But getting getting to where I'm like good at it, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Because I'm trying to- there we go, I was trying to hit right behind the sandbags. As opposed to hitting the sandbags themselves. I have to say, I love the sound of the M60. Look, listen to this. It's just one of the most- it's just one of the best sounding- Soldier, get up! Get that hog in action! He's like, what did you tell me, what? And I'm like, no sir, the gun! Keep it in the pantalones, son! He's like, oh, alright, alright there, Jimmy. Ooh, look at that! It's got a drum mag, actually. Okay. So... I'm gonna spawn over here- oh, wow, we got some Danger Close stuff happening over here. I need- I should've switched the guns out to the hog or maybe the shotgun. But we got this, uh... M16 CQB style. V Kong, I swear, they're in the- they're in the high grass. They're breaching the perimeter of the forward operating base! Oh my god, they're right over there! That's what's up, Billy Bobs! Alright, so this is the helipad. We need- I need to- I need to protect this till we get the helicopter back. And then I'm gonna take it out for a spin. Oh, look at that! See, right there's their base. Oh, I just got two of them! Alright, so... The depression, aka how much this gun can go downwards, is kind of limited. Can you imagine? And normally, like, these guys would be flying straight if you think about, it, like, oh my god, they're overrunning that. The Viet Cong just overran the helicopter field. They just took it. Sons of guns, man! They're kicking our booty butts! Alright, let's try out the Viet Cong weapons now. Alright, so now we're gonna try out the North Vietnamese Army's weapons. Um, it, we've got Viet Cong uh, player models in North Vietnamese weapons, but obviously... A lot of the weapons- do we have a PPSH? No, we do have the M50, though. Well, I mean, a lot of these are gonna be named slightly different. We got a side-by-side -side shoddy! Yeah, so the, the names are a little bit different, but, um... I know that, yeah, this is- I know it's Dragunov, this one's Dragunov. And then, obviously, as the NVA, the big one, the big daddy of them all, is the RPG Rocket Propelled Grenade. I actually want to spawn up here. And overlook there and use my RPG. I should have spawned a dragon off. But look at this. Oh, this is dope. They're, get out of my way, dude. Do you not see I'm about to fire a rock or prepare a gun? I mean, I'm about to. I don't. Oh, I hit the I hit the helicopter. Oh no. You're dead. What happened to my my friends? There's probably some friendly fire. All right, so this guy's got the semi-automatic rifle, the SVT. This one's got the dragon off. Now he just switched. Look at that big old snipe rifle, dude. This guy's got one of the drum magazine, uh, machine guns, light machine guns. This one, oh, that looks like a heavier one. It's got a, uh, box mag. But, like, when I say mag, I mean, like, magazine. Drum mag, meaning the drum magazine under it. Box magazine for, you know, the big old box of bullets right next to it. This is one of the little, uh, compact submachine guns. The weapons for this mod are brilliant. I think they're some of the best. I think, I think the Vietnam, Vietnamese era ones are done better than the World War II era ones that we've seen. Woohoohoo! Oh my god, where did that come from? That's awesome! This thing just, like, dropped from the sky. I wish I would've seen it. Alright, here we go. That actually brings in... I'm gonna go on a mission to try to shoot down a NATO American Huey Helichopper. I like to call them helichoppers, I don't know. I don't know why, I just think it's cute and funny. THERE'S A HELLA CHOPPER COMING! But, um... Oh, we got some rice patties going on? Yes! Alright, so here's my... Secondary. Whoa! This thing's automatic? No freaking way! What tank is this? I'm actually kind of curious to see the details of this. This tank looks like... Does it look like a... Patent tank? I'm trying to think if this kind of looks like if it reminds me of an American tank that would have been used. You know, honestly, I, I can't tell. Alright, so where's the helicopter? Here's the AK. Oh, puppies. Cute little Rhodesian Ridgeback puppies. This makes me so happy with how good it is. I want a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So I'm like, whenever I'm like, oh, that makes me happy. I'm just Rhodesian Ridgeback puppies, guys. Rhodesian Ridgeback Puppies and Cheeseburgers with hot sauce. Mmm. Double cheeseburger from Five Guys. You get the hot sauce, the mushrooms, the onions. And I'm talking about the cooked... Hold up. Hey! Copper! You sons of guns! Dude, look at that. That guy just got a thumper. Actually, I wanted to try the Dragunov out. It's such a... 
um, iconic semi-automatic sniper rifle from the time. Here we go, let's see if this works again. Ah, I destroyed the MG. Wait, you can use the machine gun on it? That's cool. Destroyed MG again. Not as cool, not as cool. Alright, so the Dragunov, let's see how this guy goes. Oh, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. Hold on. Hold the ravioli sticks. Whoa. Has someone ever invented a ravioli stick and why not, right? I mean, that's really the real question. Guys, once again, okay. That Huey's flying super fast. Oh, it just dropped some guys out. I think they, no, one's dropping. All right, let's see. Lord, make me fast and accurate and fire below. Oh, the rocket's going off, that's gorgeous. All right, big dog, what you got, what you got, what you got? All right, he's turning now. Oh, that one seemed close. All right, we, we're almost out of rounds here. Okay. Oh, he just got hit. Everybody's out. All right, and we got some Viet Cong running around. It looks like this map kind of favors me. Oh, here we go. All right, get that blue team victorious off the screen, boys. We got to win Vietnam. The game Vietnam 65 by Slytherin. I think the publisher's Slytherin. Okay, so it doesn't really have the hitting power. Let's see, can I... Even with a upper body slash headshot, it's not one hitting him, so I'm not sure I'd, I'm a big fan of this. Oh, there we go. Rob Storm. I, don't, I, I can't tell if I already hit him or not. The sound effects are pretty good. I still think the M60 is my favorite, but maybe, I'm a, uh, maybe that's just bias because I love that. Oh, there we go. So you, you need to hit perfect headshots. Yeah, if you hit perfect headshots with this, at this distance, which I would consider long range, then you get a one hit, right? Um, but otherwise, it seems like two, uh, two in the body. Alright, so what else do we got? We got this, li this little guy. We got an RPG. I'm gonna, I wanna see if I can't get up close and personal with this. Honestly, all Ravenfield needs is, like, some scripting to make battles a little bit better in multiplayer, but... They say it'll never get multiplayer. I hope... Who's doing that? Alright, it's a little bit, uh, not... Here we go. I wanna try one of the big guns. One of the big, uh... Ooh, we got the pizza box. Alright. So this thing's called the pizza gun. Or nicknamed, lovingly, the pizza gun. And <laughs> once you see it, you'll be like, well, duh, right? Why wouldn't it be called the pizza gun? Cuz, look on the top. It's just a pizza of bullets. Okay, we're overrunning. Ooh, this sounds good. It's got some nice kick. Yeah, I think that the some of the best made guns are the Vietnam era pack on Ravenfield. They're significantly better um, in consistency, in sound effect, in animation, pretty much holistically all across the board than the World War II guns, which is pretty strange. Because I thought the World War II era would have more a hype and more people interested in working on a mod than, say, the Vietnam era one, but that just doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, so right now we're going to be running across this rice field, and there's a lot of Americans down here on this narrow pass. So we're going to lay down some... a mix of suppressing fire, covering fire. We only got one. Alright, so how many rounds are in this pizza box? 47 rounds. Oh! Well... And then I wanted to try... let's try this one. It'd be cool if there was a bipod. Um... Wait a minute, where's the other one? So this is... Where's the... we had the drum mag. Oh, there it is. This is the drum mag. I wanted to try this one. Yes! It's so good, it's got a hundred rounds too. Alright, I need to get back over to that area because that area was hot. Ooh, look at the little artillery piece. This map was so good. So this guy, the map maker, hold on. So the map maker, his name is Jfran, and he made both maps that we're playing today. And he said, oh, hold up. That this is gonna be the last one he makes. I don't know if it, he said for a while or just totally. Dude, look at this. This thing just sweeps, man. But yeah, that's kind of sad, right? He made two amazing Vietnam era maps. I wish... Do they still have that, or we have that? Look at that. They're trying to spot. I don't know if they're... They're looking at that helicopter like there's something in there. Alright, so let's use this RPG, lay down some indirect artillery. Well, I guess it's actually more direct artillery. No, this is... yeah, this is direct. Oh, that one duffed into the bank there. 
the the embankment i guess you'd say there we go that's the good one so it's just a shame right i wish i wish some of these talented guys would stay with it but you know obviously a lot of this is passion projects it makes you wonder if they couldn't find ways to monetize this so that these wildly talented people could keep their stuff up. I'm all about commissioning talented map makers and mod makers to do stuff because, you know, I get to play, I get to make awesome videos for you guys on it. So it's like, I could throw some money around at people who would make good stuff. So if you're a really talented map maker or mod maker, hit me up on the Twitter. Preferably with screenshots, I'm a visual guy, and Twitter can be pretty crazy, but it's obviously better than reaching out to me in other ways. Because that one seems to be the most open. But yeah, I'd love to get more involved with this stuff and, like, continue supporting these people, because they make amazing stuff. Like, look at, like, look at this, man. Just all this together is just great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. I'll see you in the next one. What era should we do? You know, this is Vietnam era. There's World War One, World War Two, all kinds of stuff. Hey! Who's doing that? Yes, I finally got one. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God, you saved my life. They're coming through the hills. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, perfect timing, duck.